How are you, Andres? Good, and you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Uh, I think today, yeah. I think today uh, you can hear uh, I'm watching a video um, from my computer. Okay. okay. Wow. Getting better. Yeah. Before uh, you didn't hear me since I didn't know very well with ocean and I need to push in order to listen and watch the video from my computer. However, okay. yesterday um, a classmate explained me uh, that I need uh, before starting sharing my or before sharing my screen to you, yeah. I need yeah. to click on the options and below the option mm -hmm. uh, sharing screen <laughs> for that. And the last classes you didn't hear audio or anything because these options was not working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> however, yeah. however, and uh, according to that, I going to click, click on the option. Hey, where are you? Where you going? Audio, audio. Hello. How's it going? I wasn't able to. Hello. I wasn't able to listen your call because I, I was arguing with my sister. Okay. You do you finish your eating, your lunch? Study your breakfast? Yes, I did. Okay. It was real delicious, by the way. Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's. What were you doing? Class. Why? Why we are we're starting started the class today at the eleven a.m. Yeah, why not because 30? I I was I was eating. I was eating and finished that associated with the class today. Yes, yeah, so checking you, see, you, see checking. That, you see that I have breakfast because I was hungry. But most yeah, of the days, most of the time, I don't feel like eating at mornings. You remember that I said that to you? Mm -hmm. In the morning. OK. OK, I understand. What times uh, usually do you like to eat your breakfast? What time? I don't like to eat breakfast at the mor no? in the morning. <laughs> Most of the time, but today I was really hungry and I feel like having <laughs> breakfast today. This is the, today is the exception. Oh, okay, that's good. And I'm going to start the class, okay? Let's begin the class. Uh, please tell me if you can hear and hear and listen to my audio. Uh, I would like to know why you use this one in your face. Are you sick? Daniel? No, my, my sister is is br is brushing is brooming the floor so it is like oh. I have some allergies. It affects mm -hmm. me like. Okay. The dust, the dust in the air affects my allergies. It Purchase. makes me makes yeah. me. Chores. Your your sister is main chores. Activities associated with the home. Yeah, but it makes me sneeze because of okay. the dust in the air. Mm -hmm. Okay, understand. No problem. You can use. And uh, let me let me see something. Okay. Uh, could you could you see my screen just of right course. now? Of course. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to click on the options in order to listen the audio. Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Let's learn English at the grocery store. 
her? Hi, Bob the Canadian here. If this is your first time here, don't forget to yes, click the subscribe and give me a thumbs up at some point during this video if you enjoy it as you continue to learn English. Well, I was thinking today, I really haven't taken any of you on a field trip. A field trip is when a teacher takes students somewhere outside of the classroom. Normally, you learn in a classroom, but sometimes the teacher will take students somewhere and that's called a field trip. So today, I thought we would go on a field trip to the supermarket or what we usually call in English, the grocery store. Let me get my keys. So in English, we generally use the term grocery store. We don't often use the term supermarket. I know supermarket is quite common in other languages. In French, we say supermarché, uh, but in English, we don't often say supermarket. It is an English word, um, but we usually say grocery store. Uh, and you could say, for instance, I have to stop at the grocery store. You could say, I need to pick up some groceries. Uh, you could say, I need to go to the grocery store. Uh, and you could also say, uh, I need to go grocery shopping. So that's pretty common. I need to get some food, so I'm going to go grocery shopping. Uh, so let's head over there. Jesus explain what is the common way of saying supermarket in English. Well, we made it. I'm at local grocery store and I thought I would take you guys inside and we'll look at each section of the grocery store and I'll kind of tell you what the name of the section is uh, and some of the items that you can buy there. So let's go on inside. One of the first things we're going to need is a shopping cart as a grocery cart. Let's grab one from right here. Now we're ready. The very first section of the grocery store that you'll see, uh, especially in a Canadian grocery store, is the produce section. So the produce section is the section where you'll find fruits, the kinds of things that grow on trees like apples, oranges, uh, bananas. By the way, if you are from a country that produces bananas, just a big thank you for me. I love bananas. I eat one every day. Uh, but yeah, you can see the sign up here. We're in the produce section. Uh, so you're going to find a lot of fruit. You're also going to find a lot of vegetables. You're going to find things like carrots and cucumbers uh, and broccoli and those kinds of things. So first section you usually see, the produce section, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Let's move. Uh the teacher is explaining the different sessions inside of the supermarket. And for that, it's important to know uh, everything associated with that and pay attention carefully when he is explaining about it each session, no matter if you don't understand all, all, all the words, no matter, you can see and listening Okay. Go on to the deli section. The next section you'll usually find in a Canadian grocery store is the deli section. And the deli section is where you find what we call luncheon meat or deli meat or sliced meat. And this is the kind of meat that you buy pre-sliced so that you can put them on sandwiches or buns or subs, sub sandwiches. So the deli section is things like ham, things like bologna, uh, and things like uh, oven roasted chicken or oven roasted turkey. So that's the deli section. The next section you'll usually find in the grocery store is bake. the bakery section. Uh, the bakery section has things like loaves of bread. Uh, the bakery section would have fresh baked buns, fresh baked bread, things like French bread, uh, as well as um, yummier things to eat like cakes, uh, maybe muffins and maybe croissants. Another section you'll find in the grocery store is the dairy section. The dairy section has all things that would come from cow milk, goat's milk, or sheep milk. So here you'll find things like milk, you'll find things like butter, and you'll find things like cheese. Another section of the grocery store is the frozen food section. In the frozen food section, you'll find things like frozen pizzas, uh, you'll find ice cream, you'll find frozen fruits and frozen vegetables. 
So all of the parts of the grocery store that we have visited are on the outside walls of the grocery store. Uh, those sections are on the perimeter, the outside walls of the store. But in the inside of the store are aisles like this. And these are aisles of things like cookies, things like bottled juice, things like canned goods. And there's usually these really nice signs above each aisle, and you can see them here, that help you know what's in each aisle. Well, hey, that was a quick tour of the grocery store. I hope this video was helpful for you as you continue to learn English. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. Okay, finish that. Okay. Uh, according to the video, according to the video, I would like to know you can um please uh, daniel do you hear me okay um uh, felipe do you hear me yes yes okay uh, after after watching the video can you answer the following question for me the first one is what is the teacher name uh, concerning with the video Um, Andres Felipe. Andres Felipe. Hear the teacher's name. Okay. Do you know, uh, for example, associated with the title? Um, no, like at the grocery store. I don't know. Yeah, I, associated with the title below of the video. Okay, no problem. His name, his name is Bob. Yeah, his name is Bob. Hey, Bob. Um, hey, Bob. Yeah, he's Bob. Um, according to that, uh, what was Bob teaching us? What was Bob teaching us? Do you understand my question? He was teaching what? us what mm -hmm. items or purchases uh, you can find in a grocery store and a supermarket. The difference, the difference, what uh, he was teaching us. Uh, the difference between supermarket and grocery store is just like the name, because you can say grocery store, grocery shopping, supermarket, supermarket, something mm -hmm. like that. But it's the same place, I think. The, the difference, the different sessions. He was teaching us about sessions uh, of the grocery store. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this is the answer. Uh, Daniel. Do you hear me, Daniel? Daniel, do you hear me? Yes, I do. Okay, my question for you is the following. Uh, what is the term, what is the term used in English for describing a supermarket? There are, there are so many ways to describe a supermarket, but like describe or the name of the supermarket, like it, no, uh, no. For example, because it's I can say, it's I can say, it's... yeah, I can say grocery store, grocery store, or supermarket, or in mm -hmm. in French is in French is supermarché. <laughs> yes. Uh... It's correct. The, uh, it's normal use supermarket. However, he explained us um, for him or uh, according to Canadian, 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 Canadian people. They use grocery store mostly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, could you give me a phrases using the term grocery store? Like the action, I can say I am grocery shopping, the action because mm -hmm. For example, hey mom, I'm grocery shopping today. So can you drop me in? Or is, that is the action. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, do you remember something um, expressions or term? Example associated with grocery store phrases. Did you remember some phrases? Show in the video. Field trip. Concern me with grocery store. The, the field grocery one. store. No, uh, it's associated with phrases using the term grocery store. Uh, he mentioned three, three sentences or three phrases. Do you remember or no? I'm not sure, or you don't sure. Mm. The first one is I had to stop at the grocery store. The second one is I need to pick up some groceries. And the third one is I need to go to the grocery store. Ah, but uh, like phrases related to the actions that you can do there. For that, the question was, could you give me a phrases or phrase using the third grocery? Uh, concerning with the video or with your life. However, you answer me according uh, to your own example. But I I am mentioned three examples that the phrases um, show you in the video by the teacher. That is the action that you that you usually say where you are doing the action. I need to go to I need to go to the grocery store. I need to stop at the grocery store. The actions, or I need to to go by. I need to to lift or to to rest a little bit there. I need to pass. So many there are so many expressions that you can do. No. no not only that they say in the video, but you can use no, so course. many expressions. Yeah, so many, so many expressions. However, I mentioned three examples that he yeah. showed yeah. show, show us in the video. It's interesting yeah. since yeah. he used the word pick up. Pick up some groceries. Pick up yeah. some present yeah. verb. Mm -hmm. or, or a store, um, a store up. Mm -hmm. I need to store up some groceries on my mm -hmm. pantry. You can say that example. I need to store up some groceries on my pantry at the grocery store. I need to pick up some groceries at the grocery store in order to store up the groceries on my pantry, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Or, or I, need to, I need to sort off or I need to select, select, you know, select some groceries. Select is not common, it's more choose. Or, or lift up, lift up. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. And this Felipe, I would like that you give me a uh, phrases. One one phrases or two phrases using the third grocery store. Two examples, two examples of phrases. With grocery store? Yeah. I, um, I need to go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You need to go to the grocery Store. A store. Mm -hmm. The second example. Uh, I need to look up some items at the at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You need to look up. To pick up. look. Well, uh -huh. you can look up a word pick up. or something mm -hmm. like that. But pick up, yeah. like. You need to pick up what? What thing? Some items. Hmm? At the grocery store. You need pick up to pick up what? 
some item, you know, I T E M S item. At the, at the doctor store. He's right. saying item. Item is like things, items, articles, items. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more to say, it's better to say uh, products. Well, yeah, it's like, like a synonym, but I think yeah. item is more common. Mm -hmm. It's more common items. Items? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you for the sample. Uh, okay. Other question associated with the video is... Uh, what do you think, Daniel? Uh, can we use the term grocery shopping? Yes. yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. What is the name of the basket that Bot used to pick the things he bought? Grocery cart. Grocery cart. Mm -hmm. It's common to say as well, shopping cart. Okay, as well. I know that in the video he expressed uh, grocery car. However, in the United States, many people say that shopping cart. Okay, seven question. What is the name of the sessions where you find vegetables and fruits? Vegetables and what? And fruits. And fruits. Yeah, it's per produce section. The produce section. Okay. Yeah, you can find produce. You can find fruits like banana, apples, or mm -hmm. some vegetables like cucumbers and avocados. Mm -hmm. And cucumber as well. Cucumbers. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, what do you find in the daily session? What do you find? In the daily session, you can find like lunch and meat items, or it's like meat, sandwiches, bologna. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Andres Felipe, the next question is for you. Okay. What is Bye. the name of what is the name of the sessions where milk, butter, and cheese is found? A uh, daily section. Mm, what? Repeat me again. Daily. Daily section, I think. Daily section. There. Yes. Daily. No, no. Is there? Is there a dairy session? Yes, it's pronounced well. He said dairy. <clears throat> dairy, no. Dairy. Dairy session. Dairy. Okay. The next question is uh, How can find other items inside the store, Daniel? Items. Items. Yeah, you. Yeah. We, Where can I yeah, find can, other items? How can I find other items inside the store? How or or how or, how can we oh, yeah. find other items inside the store? How? Yeah. So I think every supermarket or every grocery store must have aisles. They are aisles that are divided. The the supermarket in different parts. Like mm -hmm. at the top of every aisle, they name the aisle according to or related to the products that are uh, that are in or store in. So you can find in the aisles like cans, cookies, or 
There is another section that is called frozen section. You can find ice cream, frozen vegetables, frozen meats mm -hmm. uh, through the sections. Like once you are with your grocery cart or with your shopping cart, you enter the, the grocery and how you can find the items is easy. Only you, mm -hmm. you need to see at the top of every aisle what is said there. Um, mm -hmm. if, you, if you see the produce section, for example, you're going to find vegetables and fruits. Um, deli section, you're going to find like, sandwiches, bologna. Or if you, say, if you say bakery section, you see the bakery section, you're going to find loaves of bread. You're going to find fresh bread. Or you're gonna find like cakes, muffins, or croissants, you know? Mm -hmm. So you need to guide yourself according to the name of every aisle. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Okay. What do you think, um, Andres Felipe, according to the same equation? How can how can we find other eating items inside inside the store? I don't know. You can ask someone like an assistant chef. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? Where yes, can I find well. Repeat anything? me again. Uh, you can ask someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, that's all. <laughs> however, however, when uh, there is no someone, when you need to buy something, how can you find? Uh, as Daniel said, you have to read like the mm -hmm. big words or titles of the items, like bakery, and you know that. Over mm -hmm. there, you can find bread, and if you read produces, you know that you there you can find both vegetables, fruits, and just read or ask mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. It's important to read everything. Mm -hmm. I have okay. a question. When Daniel was talking about like you can read in every aisle in every aisle. That what that word Pas that is means in, in Spanish pasillos. Oh, and how do you spell it in English? Yeah, uh, I'm going to write the word in in English. Okay. Oh, Daniel, could you read the word? Pasillos in English. Ayo. Ayo. A. A I S L E S. Okay, why don't you send a message in the chat? Right, right then. Uh, right. Are you? Are you? I I got it, but just for remember, it's good to have in mind that word. Yeah, so I is A I S L E I. You don't pronounce if you want to say the pro the pro version, IELTS with a net. And the singular version is IO without okay. at the end. Thank you. You, you pronounce you pronounce the same way is 
Io. 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 Mm -hmm. Io. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know pronounce the, the letter S or vowel. Yeah. Uh, if you want, yeah, if you want to say, if you want to say the broad version, you can say, you can say the aisle, uh, the, the S at the end, like the aisles, aisles, the broad version, but the singular version, you don't pronounce the S at the end and you uh -huh. usually delay it. You delay that S at the end if you are talking about one aisle, you know? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh... Now I'm going to share my screen again. <clears throat> oh, I forget to ask you something. Do you remember what is the title of Society with a Video or no? Or yes. give, yes. me, give me your opinion. Give me your opinion. What? The title, the title of the video is Let's Learn English at the Grocery Store. Supermarket English Video with sub Subtitles. <laughs> Okay. And according to that, uh, do you get what is the topic for today? Yeah, Andres, can you say that? What is the topic for today? Could you repeat that? Daniel. Please? Daniel. <laughs> uh, what the is question the is for you, for Daniel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The question for today thing is how to. There are so many things like how how to buy or how to go to go grocery so shopping or mm -hmm. items related to what you can find in a grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's related to to me to food to buy things to buy vegetables in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Hey, Daniel, could you turn off your camera? Turn on? Oh, turn, turn. sorry. Turn, turn off. Turn. No, no, turn. Only turn. Turn to the light, left, right side. Uh, to the, I think it's turn on the right side, I think. According to my computer, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, and the Felipe, what do you think? What is the topic for today? Uh, like step, step by step, but what can what you can do if you want to go to the grocery store and which items you can find there, and what do you have to do when you walk in, like take a shopping cart, put the items in, and then. Go to pay and what? Yeah, like where, <laughs> okay. where you can find. I, I it think I think in the last in the in the first class of these sections, you said that your sister has like kind of a supermarket or something. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's really uh, small, but it it is like a supermarket. Yeah, it looks like it. So you you really know what are the items in in the supermarket where you work because that is your 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 part time job, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's begin the the title associated with the video or with the class. Sorry, is and the grocery store is the topic for today. According to that, according to that. Um, let me check. Would you read that object is associated with the class, Daniel? Oh, yeah. Andres Felipe. Yeah, yeah Daniel. Uh, you can read the the one and two. Okay. The first one so, and the second one. Yeah, the main objective yeah. for this class is to watch a video. Yeah. I heard a little bird, a, a bird singing. Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have birds in your house? No, birds. Birds. Yeah. No. Little, little pajaritos, birds. <laughs> no. 
Y los pajaritos son los que están cerca de mi casa, pero no están aquí propiamente dentro de mi casa. Yeah. The bird right. is outside of my home. Yeah, so the, the, the main objective for this class is to watch a video concerning with the section of the what? I cannot see. With the section, yeah, with the section of a grocery store. The second mm -hmm. one is to teach students the section of a grocery store. Okay. Andres Felipe, thank you, Daniel. Andres Felipe, could you read? Uh, did Daniel the, read the second the one? Tier. The tier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, to describe a picture concerning it with a grocery store. Mm -hmm. The fourth. To learn vocabulary associated with grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And the last. Uh, to practice speaking, reading, and listening skills. Okay. Thank you. And it's presentations. It is uh, describing the grocery store. Um, according to picture or this picture, um, what sections, what kind of sections uh, could you see? Or do you see in this picture, Daniel? What kinds of sections? I see bread, do you bread see? eggs, green vegetables, meat, fish, mm -hmm. uh, toiletries, cosmetics. Yeah, I cannot hear the other ones because it's like frozen food. frozen food. Ah, and frozen food, dairy products. Yeah, the other ones are blooming a little bit in the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you understand what means the word the word associated with cosmetics? The first word. Yeah. Yes, I do. I do understand everything. How can you pronounce uh, the first one? How can you pronounce the first one? Word. Toiletries. Toiletries. Mm -hmm. And the second. Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's like makeup. But what is toiletries? Toiletries. Toiletries. Articulo de aseo. Alcohol. So like. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, 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 you so, say as what? well articles de, de tocador as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Um, the, uh, there is an other, and uh, Felipe, and below the picture, there is other information. Could you read the, this one? The black one? This information? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he's saying. I know it's like sign below for that can, for those cans, but I don't know what say it like. I said um, this one is out on the corner, at the right corner below. There is an information. Yeah, but uh, I think. We're could you see? Could you see the screen, Andres Felipe? Yeah, I can see the screen, but I can read it. It's really small. I can see like forty-eight p. Or... No. No, no. Is it's I... in the number. It's in the number twenty twenty twenty-three. Ah, okay. But it's a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With... Together, the men. Uh, the there are ah, the okay. corner. Mm -hmm. An information. Could you read? No duck. Mm -hmm. That only. No ducks. And the another one. What is the another? Entrance. Mm -hmm. There are three. Three informations. And excited. Said only. Mm -hmm. Yes. Only and another, which one together, 
together the men number one entrance mm -hmm. okay uh, according to the pictures in this store the the people can uh, carry out pets no they can't okay <laughs> Well, okay. they can maybe uh, carry out uh, like cats because mm -hmm. they say no dogs. So any mm -hmm. animal instead of dogs can walk in. Mm -hmm. Obviously, okay. you can. Okay. Uh, what things you can see in, in this picture? What what? What other things uh, do you see uh, on the picture? Uh, I can see like uh, well, people and over there, like in the on the right, there's like a cashier mm -hmm. where you can pay your items. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many how many people there are in the picture? Like uh, fourteen people, fifteen people. Really? <laughs> with the baby, with the baby, include the baby. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I I don't remember that I I see the main <laughs> Okay, thank you. And um, according to the picture, what is your favorite section? Mm, the, uh, section. Yeah, the I think uh, I don't know, but maybe bread and cakes, or frozen food. Oh, frozen food? Oh. <laughs> About me, I like the fruit and vegetables. Oh. A little bit, a little That's bit. <laughs> bread and cakes. Yeah, bread and cakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Daniel, what is your favorite section associated with the picture? Daniel, I like the fruit and vegetables. The fruit and vegetables. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why and um, when? Because I like fruits. Because I like apples, pears, cucumbers, but avocados. I don't like avocados. Uh, okay. Meat. Mm, okay. Like beef. Okay. Well, just right now, uh, you can see different uh, vocabulary associated with the grocery. Um, do you re read the first one? Daniel, what is the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Ham. How can I pronounce the, the first one and the second one? Ham. And the second? I think it's Bolna. No, the correct pronunciation is Bologna. 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 Mm -hmm. Bologna. Bologna. 
Yeah, it's Bologna. The stress, Bologna. The stress is at the, at the second syllable. Bologna. No, bo no, bologna. <laughs> yeah, it's Bologna. And the tear. A slice meat. Slice meat. Mm -hmm. Slice means it's associated with the t-shirt. Uh, about me is mortadela. Or rodajas or rebanadas de carne. I know the meaning. <laughs> okay. Ham. What do you mean? Ham is jamón. In these sessions, uh, daily sessions, you can find ham, bologna, slight meat. Uh, at the same time, you can find this one. Could you read this one? Oven roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. Oven roasted chicken. What means that in Spanish? Is uh, like a chicken, uh, <laughs> a chicken roasted in an oven. Mm -hmm. An in oven is, is, is a machine where you can roast so many things. Mm -hmm. In asado Spanish? Asado al horno. El pollo mm -hmm. asado al horno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can of guts. Can guts. What do you think can guts? Can't is like can't product inside a can. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, what it means? It means mm, productos dentro de una lata o enlatados. Mm -hmm. Mío enlatada, yeah. Cucumbers is easy. It's easy. <laughs> Pepinos, no? I would like to know what did you say uh, this kind of vegetable in your city? Mm. Cucumbers or cuke? We say cuke. Cuke, cucumbers. Cucumbers, we say cucumbers here. As well, in English? Yeah, cucumbers. Did you remember say, where you from? In in Valledupar, the, the people say cucumbers as well. Pepino, pe la gente dice pepino, but I say cucumbers. In in Spanish and English, the people said that. In Did English, but it is not currently. Only when they they are practicing <laughs> their English, but they they speak. They say pepinos. When they, they talk in Spanish, but in English they say cucumbers. Yeah. But I uh, guess however, everybody here speaks Spanish, I guess. Yeah. However, uh, I know that depending on the region, uh, maybe the people say uh, different names or use different names uh, concerning with the things. For that, I asked you, since I thought that in your city, Maybe the people call that other name. What that? <laughs> Another thing. Here, okay, here, thank you. They say cuke. Uh, cuke. Mm. Okay, <laughs> interesting. But okay. because uh, is the, the, is the start or the beginning pronunciation of the cucumber version, you know? Mm -hmm. Cuke. Okay. Uh, how can you pronounce the lats? The last uh, picture here, this presentation. Luncheon meat or ch Chinese style luncheon meat. Mm -hmm. Luncheon meat. Yeah, I think it's um, pork meat. For that, it's lunch. I think. Es como si estuvieras diciendo lechona, carne de, <laughs> carne de marrano, carne de cerdo, I think. No, but the translation is the carne en una lata. Hmm. Carne en lata, the translation. But I think lunch and meat, most of the supermarket or the marketing, marketing manager of the stores, mm -hmm. they, they say names, particular names, so the people guess they are attracted to or it's like a typo. Mm -hmm. 
There are so many typos in the title, but that is the joke of the title. That's the, that caught that caught your attention every time you see that word because there is a typo in it. You know that that is a, the, like a strategy for you to buy the product. Mm -hmm. Launch a meat that is launch a meat that is incorrect because on <laughs> is a preposition and they stick together a noun and a preposition together and that is the joke. That makes me think, that makes me buy the product because that caught my attention. What is this? I need to buy that, you know? That's why they sell so many things. That were, that's why they are so rich because they put a joke <laughs> on every title. Okay. They yeah. were presented in a typo it's... or in, in another thing. Mm -hmm. There is it's, a, po it's a political a... situation in some forums on the internet. Uh, this word is new for me, lunch or meat, however, it's used in English speaker. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Let's start. The battle, the battle is other word associated with this. Uh, Daniel, <laughs> do you like these sessions? These sessions. Uh, for that, I would like to ask you the something, the, the something, uh, Daniel, no, Ando <laughs> Felipe, sorry. Ando <laughs> Felipe, do you like these sessions? Uh, do you hear of me? Of course. Uh, could you read the first one, the, the second one, the third one, all, the first one? All of them. So. Lots mm -hmm. of bread, lots of bread, I think. Lots. Love. Loads. 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 Oh, ooh. loads. A Repeat. baked pan. Oh, mm -hmm. Loads. Loads of bread. Mm -hmm. Baked bun. Mm -hmm. Bread, mm -hmm. muffin, and croissant. Mm -hmm. And the fourth, what did you say? The fourth cake, case, mm -hmm. case. And uh, do you know what means bake buns? Uh, it's I don't know in English in like USA what they have for buns but here it's like i don't know in colombia we call them molidos bollos envueltos mm -hmm. so yeah however some... however yeah however according to this they banked <clears throat> for me for me is associated with that <clears throat> is a kind of bread Big yeah. bands. Yeah. Uh, however, this uh, kind of war is mm, it means bollos, how you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and we, this um, uh -huh. we call them molidos or envueltos. Uh -huh. However, it's a kind of, of bread in this case. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's associated. Uh, uh-huh, <laughs> it's associated with that, okay? Uh, about me, this kind of bread is named or is called uh, uh, mojicón. I don't know how can you say that in you know, your city. Um, or have you ever heard? Uh, the the second the second is they bound uh, is about me according to the picture is mojicón <laughs> it's a kind of bread mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. orange and yellow bread mm -hmm. yeah. yeah is well it's, it's, it's together like, the, I don't know okay 
-hmm. Do you know what means a uh, bake bread? Uh, bread. Bake. <laughs> I don't know. Bread. Pan. Pan al horno. Uh -huh. Todo el pan yes. al horno. Pan horneado. Yes. Horneado. Uh -huh. Case. Case. Cake is means... like uh, torta. O... Uh -huh. torta. O pasteles. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Memphis. Memphis. Memphis, no. It's Memphis. Muffins. 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 Uh -huh. Muffins time. Have you ever heard that song? Well. Muffins. Uh, mm -hmm. is, is this one. Yeah. It's like a cupcake, but with no... Icy, I think they call icy or mm -hmm. cream. That's the difference between muffin and cupcake, the cream in the mm -hmm. top. Um, yes. mm -hmm. And croissant, I think we say the same in this croissant. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I think uh, some words in the Spanish language um, is come from English as well. Yeah. I, I think that it's a French word mm -hmm. and as a French word, so there's a like croissant or croissant, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. you, how, do you, how do you explain it to me the first word, loaf? Like, loaves of bread. Mm -hmm. You say loaves, L O U P S, loaves. Loaf of bread. It means rodajas o tajadas. You say it's like uh, loaf is literal way is hojas. Maybe um, is rebanadas de pan. It's the first one when you are uh, doing or you are preparing sandwich. You go to the baker station. In the baker stations, uh, you need to ask uh, someone or you need to see or read. Um, for example, if you go to the grocery store and you can find a uh, bread for preparing your sandwich you ask someone please tell me where i can find or where uh, i i define the lots of bread the lot of bread is means the first one picture of the first picture is rodajas de pan o tajadas de pan do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Love of bread. It means love of bread. Uh -huh. Tajadas o rodajas de pan. Uh -huh. O rebanadas también le pueden decir. Pero más que todo para pan es... Eh, es eso, rebanada. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, there is an other other sessions. This session is associated with their their, their session. Um, do you read the first one? Uh, goat milk. Mm -hmm. The second? Cow milk. Mm -hmm. Sheep milk. Mm -hmm. And sheep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you understand the meaning associated with the word? Yeah. Leche cabra, leche vaca, leche oveja y queso. Yes. <laughs> Perfectly. Okay. It's Thank goats. You. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Uh, many people uh, say that is very helpful or healthy. Yeah. The goat's meal, that cold meal. 
I I had heard that. <laughs> and I'm sure that goat milk mm -hmm. is more expensive than cow milk. Yeah. Yeah, in the supermarket or in the market, it's more expensive. Okay. So maybe it is maybe it's a uh, healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now uh, let's start. Let's talk. Sorry, let's talk about shopping. About shopping. Okay. About shopping. Let me check something. <clears throat> So, um, this, this. Okay. If you can find some uh, mistake associated with the writing, you can say me. Okay, um, let me show that. This one. Uh, tell me if you can read the questions. Uh, you can see my screen. Uh, Daniel and Felipe, you can see my screen. Yeah, I can, I can. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Talking about shopping is, um, well, no matter if you are shopping and the grocery store or in other kind store, okay? And I would like to know how do you get from floor to floor when you are in, in this place? How can, according to the picture, how do you get from floor to floor? Walking or using electric street? Using <laughs> yeah. electric, I don't know how to call them. Okay. Escalera Can you electric. make calls? Mm -hmm. I think it's electric. It's electric. electric star, stairs. Electric stairs. Electric star? Stairs. Electric stairs. Stairs. In British accent, stands. <laughs> oh, I like the British accent as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, I would like to your opinion, uh, Andres Felipe. How do you get from floor? To floor. Uh, you can um, make some with. Mm, it means, como tu vas de un piso a otro. To you go uh, to talk, or you prefer using um, electric stir. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Stirs. If you can make the image bigger, you know, zoom. Oh, okay. In the okay. Signs in the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you can see now. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Go back. Go back. <sighs> yeah. You can see. So. Mm -hmm. I think it, you can you can use a, do you like uh, uh, talking uh, from floor to floor or do you like um, prefer or do you prefer uh, using electric stars I prefer uh, I prefer to use the lecture stars. 
Oh, Demi Lovato. It's stairs. <laughs> it is. It is the stairs. Yeah. You're saying stairs. stars, like it's the stars, stars in the sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's stairs. You can go with that. Bubble, or maybe something. Mm -hmm. And do you like uh, using or do you like to use electric star? Yes. Stairs, yeah. Okay. Why? Why do you like to use it? Mm -hmm. Because I'm a lazy <laughs> person and I don't have to walk if I use them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Forever. And mm -hmm. I can see it's a normal stairs in this picture. Oh, you can? Mm -hmm. Like just electric stairs. So just one option. Mm -hmm. My first time using electric stars, mm, I felt I felt a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay, Daniel, tell me. According to the next questions, uh, why? Why to read the labels on products? Do you think it's important or no? It is important because you need to know what is that product, what contain, what is inside that product, what what kind of chemicals do they use to construct the products. So it's important to read the label to see what is the company that manufacture that product you know the name of the company and the chemicals or the substance or the compounds that compound the compound the that product mm -hmm. the ingredients of a meal or, or something the packaging in general it's important mm -hmm. to read the packaging and the description of the product at the on the packaging mm -hmm. okay uh, the next question uh, do you like yeah, because you you don't want to buy buy some things without reading it, without knowing what it means. What what is what are you going to to buy? Uh, you buy things without knowing what are you buying? No, you need to know what you're gonna buy. What what you need in your pantry at home? You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you like window shopping? Yeah. Window shopping, so, I don't you, like. You, 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 I asked you. <laughs> yeah. I asked I you that. Do you like window shopping or oh, you can see when you are crossing in front of the store? I don't like. See? I don't like window shopping because I have I have a saying. If you don't ha if you don't have money to buy something, why even bothering to look at the product, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you don't know, if you don't have money, why are you looking that <laughs> product? Because you're you're not gonna buy it. Maybe mm -hmm. some people enjoy looking at the product to see the magnificent or the glamorous mm -hmm. effects or features of that of those products. But I don't mm -hmm. like it because I don't gonna buy it. I only look at the things that I'm going to, that I'm I am sure I'm going to buy. Mm -hmm. That is, I think that is a bad habit of some people, and they sometimes lo lose their time when they go shopping. Mm -hmm. look, what do you? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what, what do you think is important to check the is the expiration date on the products? Oof! Hell yeah! <laughs> this, this Many really people important. don't check. Don't check that. I think. I know. I know that. I know that. But it's important. I have I have so many experience with the spear dates of different products. So one day I was I was I was in a in a, in a store. And I was going to buy a a bread with with a Coke, a black Coke, and they give me the bread. And immediately I opened the bread and I put the bread in my mouth. When I, I, I had the bite 
Oh my God. There was, there was some hum inside the bread. It was, it was disgusting. Uh -huh. And I immediately, I looked the label. I looked this in the label of the bread. I looked the, the inspiration date. Uh, uh -huh. It was two months past that bread. Yeah. It was <laughs> it's terrible. Two months old. Oh. Inspiration. Oh, two months old after the inspiration dead clean, clean declined. You know? Mm -hmm. It and... is important because it is bad for your health to eat mm -hmm. an is uh, a bread that is pa that has passed the inspiration date. It is bad for your stomach for you to digest that bread. So don't eat it. It's very dangerous. It's it, dangerous. Uh, it's very dangerous for your health. Uh -huh. Very dangerous. Okay. Let me show something, ask you something about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the next question is, uh, what's your favorite, favorite department? Department. Yeah, department. Department of what? <laughs> department of what? It means the uh, sessions. What is your favorite sessions? Oh, I'm yeah. going to show you, uh, for example, a sport, a sport with yeah, clothes. Yeah, My favorite session, I think it depends, but what I like the most is the technology section because the technology i like to go to a technology session to see the latest things that, that the market has launched okay like computers phones tablets uh -huh. tvs smart tvs and smartphones uh -huh. iphones android phones okay it's interesting uh -huh. okay thank you and uh, the next question is for andres felipe andres felipe do you hear me andres felipe hello yes i'm here <laughs> okay andres felipe the the next question is uh, it is 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 it difficult for you to choose what to buy? Mm, it depends. Uh, for example, Daniel said that many people uh, are not going to buy something, but they are going to the supermarket or to the hall or to the place where. But, and they say that he's just going to if he has money. I'm the person who go anyway. So if I have money, if I don't have money, I go. So if I have, I don't know, if I don't know, decided what to buy, I'm gonna uh, say like this or that. So I don't know, it depends. <laughs> if I'm, if okay. I'm sure what I'm, what I'm gonna buy, okay. I don't have to, Good about that, but if I don't know, mm -hmm. okay, difficult, difficult. Okay, uh, uh, the next question is uh, why do you try it on the things you buy? Why, why do you try on the things oh, you buy? Because I need to know if I can buy for me. Mm -hmm. For yeah, example, but for I example think, when you when you are going to buy your clothes, uh, you usually try it on the things in your body some, before some. buying the clothes or no? Rarely, I I I would say rarely. However. Hmm? I hardly ever try on the clothes mm -hmm. that I'm going to buy. Oh. Why? 
Um, I don't know. Because <laughs> I think it's gonna fit to me, so. Mm, you you know that the I know my size I is should according to you, your body. My house. Yeah. Mm. I bring to my house and I pay it and I don't need to try on. Okay. And Daniel, uh, do you usually try on on the things you buy? For example, the clothes, especially? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that that question is only for the the clothes because clothes. you don't gonna mm -hmm. try you don't gonna try first a cookie clothes. and then if they don't if oh. you don't like the cookie you're not of gonna course. buy <laughs> of course it's associated with the clothes or shoes for example yeah but you say the things the things everything <laughs> everything but you can see pay attention the picture <laughs> So why do you like? Why do you try on the clothes that you buy, not the things? Okay, whatever. So <laughs> I need to I need to try the clothes because I don't know if I gonna like it or if, if that doesn't fix my size. You know, I need to try the clothes to see if that fits me well. About me, I like I like to uh, try because. Uh, depending on the mark is especially I just my body or no since I have seen or I have saw um, some pants and that's incorrect to my body mm. When the number is the same, uh, difference marked. But that I like to try it, um, the clothes or when I am buying. I am buying that. Okay. I'm going to say you the question. I'm going to ask the next question, the next question. Is the following. Uh, Daniel, do you like? I think this word maybe is new for you, or I'm not sure. Uh, do you like crowds? Crowds? Do you like crowds or no? Crowds. Crowds. Mm -hmm. Do you mean? like crowds? Uh, is when there are many people concentrated. Ah, uh, yeah, crowds. Crowds. Mm -hmm. Crowds. Crowds. Mm, I don't like crowds because I need to. I need my space. There is too much. <laughs> in this, in the, it depends. It depends too. Yeah. Because if I am in the supermarket or in a bank, I don't like to have so many people in a bank because I'm going to yeah. waste so much time mm -hmm. waiting in an aisle, you know, in a cold to mm -hmm. to wait someone attend my necessities. So I don't like so many people because that means that I'm going to wait a lot of, of time. But in a concert, in this case, if I, I go to a concert mm -hmm. and when a musician is performing on stage, I like I like to be in a crowd because I can move, I can dance besides so many people and that, that makes me dance and that take me on so many energies, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, uh, Andres Felipe, according to the same questions? Uh, do you like crowds? Uh, I think the same about that question. If you are in a bank, you don't have to waste time. No, no. Uh, crowds, the word crowds means uh, when there are many no. people concentrated inside of place. 
or when inside of plates, there are many people and you cannot move uh, for that. Of course, yeah, it depends. If I'm, if I am in a party, I love crowds because are there are many people and I can dance with all of them. But for example, at at home, I don't like crowds. Can you imagine crowds at home? Of course not. So it depends of the place. For for example, if you can if you can buy a your clothes in in different store, if you can uh, see there are many people, many people inside the place. Uh, do you like? And no, and the main reason I would say that I don't have that experience because the most of the time I buy my clothes uh, via internet or from magazines. So oh. really, 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 I go to a store and I'm talk with someone and I like ask for shirts or pants or shoes because the most of the time I buy my clothes from magazines or the most of the times really most of the time for mm -hmm. internet. So, okay, understand. But okay. Uh, I know what you mean, like crowds in a supermarket. Uh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't like because there are many people in. You have to wait for them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, the next question is: Are you good at buying gifts? <laughs> Tell me. Are you good at buying gifts? Gifts. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure because people like really different things, but I think I'm good buying it. Like I think in the person and I say, yeah, he likes that. Oh yeah, she loves that. But yeah, I, <laughs> okay. there are many that are really, really bad with that. And mm -hmm. I think I like it. media. I am, I'm good. Okay. How do you... Have you ever uh, been some experience uh, buying gifts for someone? Uh, well, um, buying gifts for someone maybe not many times, but uh, um, how can I explain this? Well, sometimes <laughs> I don't work oh. in the supermarket. I work mm -hmm. in a gift store, you know, in a gift mm -hmm. store. So. I'm good at giving gifts and recommend people. <laughs> oh, she likes this, or she mm -hmm. hates that. So, um, I have a lot of experience talking about buying a gift for okay. someone. Okay. First, you say it, uh, or you um, advise to other person. Yeah, to the people. Like, but products buy. They but can buy. Kinds of okay. Okay, that's good. And um, about Daniel, are you good at buying gifts? Mm, I don't usually buy gifts because I don't have money to buy. It. Okay. But if I would buy a gift, mm -hmm. I would buy a gift. I will buy that gift according to the necessities of the person that I'm going to give the gift. Mm -hmm. If the person wants a phone, I'm going to buy a phone. If a person buys like a phone badly, 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 I'm going to buy a phone. But if a person buy want to have like a TV or a tablet or maybe a sweater or maybe a jeans, some jeans or some shoes, mm -hmm. and I know that that they want that that item badly. I'm going to buy it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy yeah. things. 
So it is not rocket science. I think it is not difficult to buy a gift in case if, uh, unless you don't know what they want or mm -hmm. you, you are not close or related to that person, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, thank you. The last question is, uh, do you go to sales? To sales? To sales. To sales. Mm -hmm. What does it mean, sales? Do you go to sales? It means in Spanish, um, rebajas, promotions. Discounts. <laughs> or in this picture is associated when you, and uh, do you go to the store, for example? Places, <clears throat> places in which the people sell different products. Do you go? Mm. No, because I don't have money. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have transportation. Oh. But if I would go, if I, I would like to go, because if I have money, if I would have money, uh, I will go. I will go. Be mm. The promotion, sometimes you need to take advantage of that. They don't usually launch promotions every day. They only do that on a special day or mostly in December at the end of the year when they launch so many promotions yeah. or discounts on the products. My family, too, my father, for example, he take advantage of that every single time. At that stream that, they, that he doesn't buy something unless it has a discount on it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, according to the picture, this picture is associated with what um, holy or holiday or party or is marriage. Is an store associated with what kind of problems? This um, picture. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. Yes, I know. Yes. Tell me. What What do you want me to tell you? Um, what kind of store is show us in this picture? Is show in this picture? In this picture? In the last one. Retail store? A retail store? A sales store? What kind of products sell in this store? I think use products, reuse products. I don't know, to, uh, a tree, a Christmas tree? Yeah, it's a, a Christmas store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since there are different um, Objects associated with the Christmas. You can see or no? <laughs> I think that you cannot see. <sighs> Are you connected from your phone or your computer? My phone. Oh, for that, I understand that you cannot see very well. Mm. Okay. Uh, According to this class, uh, I would like to know um, what is your opinion? My opinion uh, about this yeah, class? Or what, or what thing do you learn in this class? I learned, I learned so many things related to the grocery, the mm -hmm. store, the items, the things that you do when you're there. 
um, so so some expressions that are usually usable at the time when you're gonna buy something. They they are so handy because that express yourself in a better way so the people that you're talking to can understand you better. Okay, that's good. But I, okay. what I don't like about this class, yeah, I need to see, I need to say the two sides of the coin. Like, why um, did you say? I I thought I think that I don't know like it looks like monotonous sometimes anonymous but I like but I like the things that you make us practice the listening and the mm -hmm. speaking te and the speaking on the sometimes the writing because we write the words that I that we don't know in English, so yes. we can learn together. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention, Daniel. I think that Andres Felipe lead the class. Without Please. saying goodbye again. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much for your attention and your opinion as well. It is important for that. Okay, uh, I wish you a uh, good, good luck. Uh, yeah, thank you. Good afternoon and have a good day as well. Yeah, likewise. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.